Then you do a yes. stint in Japan, if I have it correct. How did that come about? And how long were you out there? Wow, man, that that whole that whole time was just magical. Uh, my mom married my stepdad when I was 11, and um, he was ordered to go to uh, Yokota Air Force Base in Japan. He was in the Air Force. And my mom was like, yo, we, we're going to pack up. We're going to go. And I was like, I was just starting. I was about to start sixth grade. Um, it was wild, man. That was like, that's this is like 86. This is like real Brooklyn. You know what I mean? Like, Crack is starting to come through in, in its in its form. It was it was about to be real, real for us. And um when we got to Japan, man, it was just like the illest culture shock because I'm going out to a place where, you know, like in Brooklyn, you you, you gotta have an exterior. You go out into the street, you gotta protect yourself. It's it's like it's whatever. You're gonna have fun with your people, but you know, you're always on point. Your tents, your your antennas up. In Japan, man, it was so like beautifully hospitable man it was just it was insane it would if you if it was like this sean if you were to mention a, a uh an accessory on someone like say if you like their bracelet or you like they change like oh that's dope they'd be like oh here yeah, here you go no <laughs> way but it was i'm telling you man it was so crazy they were like that not even on no rock <laughs> It wasn't even like, yo, give me that. And that. It was just, they were like, oh, this, this connects with you? Well, if this connects with you, here you go. So now we're connected because oh, now scary. I'm part of your story. It's, it's, like, it's like a cultural thing. It was so dope, man. And I learned, you know, um, how to, how to ad admire and honor someone else's presence. And that's how, that's how they live. So that's why you don't really hear about a lot of violence and stuff like that out there. Of course, they're going to be people, but what they do is they honor each other's lives. And when you do that, you honor what they create. So in a creative space, if someone makes something, it's like, oh, you take the time to find out what that is. So that's why their art and their creativity and things are so, so high in quality because they're looking at each other and bouncing ideas off and all that. But I was able to make lifelong friends, man. Like Facebook really kind of brought us all together again. And um, I stayed in contact with a lot of them before I even, um, before Facebook even came up. But once again, just like the cultural aspect of Japan, man, it opened my mind to, to different kind of creativity. And I'm, I'm forever, forever indebted to them out there. They were so cool. And I stayed out there from 86 to 89, the end of 89. So you're out there for three years. Three years, man, 11 to 14. Um, my, my, my mom, she took us to, to uh, Korea. We used to go shopping like for the Dapper Dan type suits. Uh -huh. So my uncles and all my cousins, they used to send me like uh, VHS tapes of Young TV raps, video music box. They used to send me like cassettes of Red Alert, Mr. Magic. Um, I used to get all the magazines sent to me. And that's where my love of magazines really kicked up because that was my only information packet. When I would get those, you know, you pair a double, uh, a double, a, a word up or a black beat with all the different posters. And then you get to see the video and you putting all that together because you're not there for the essence of it. You know, so my love for it was a little bit deeper when I came home, then all my friends and family, because they were so used to it. Here I am, an encyclopedia of hip hop facts, because I was just reading and reading and watching and looking for little things. And it was just one of those, um, it was just an incredible time, man. You just took me back with that too. It was an incredible time, man, beautiful. That, that's such a great story. And it segues to where I was gonna go next. And you kind of took the words right out my mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I get that, and I love the way you articulated it, you know. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.